In moments of danger, when the guardians of our streets find themselves in need, it's not always fellow officers who come to their aid. Sometimes it's the unsung heroes among us, the Good Samaritans, who step up without a second thought. Here are seven cases when Good Samaritans save the cops. Their bravery doesn't wear a uniform, and their courage has no limits. Come on, guys! The car's on fire. You got it? In August 2023, in Picos, Texas, a pregnant officer courageously faced off with a suspect in a high-speed chase. It all started when Steven Jimenez, 39, attempted to evade arrest by driving aggressively and even ramming the officer's car. With remarkable skill, the officer was able to execute a pit maneuver, forcing Jimenez to flee on foot. Despite the danger, a caring bystander stepped in to help the pregnant officer. Jimenez was ultimately arrested and faced justice after being released from the hospital. 10-4 in my location, I'm going um, going to be going south on 63. We're almost to I-25. If somebody can set up some spikes right there, he's on the opposite lane of travel right now. He is all over the roadway. Yeah, at the 307. Yeah, 10 4. We're coming up to the 307. I'll let you know if he goes um, north or south. He's trying to. He, he's just. He's trying to ram me off the road. He's. He just crashed me. He, he's trying to pull. He's trying to get me to pull over. He just rammed me. 10 4. He's right behind me. He just rammed me. He pulled off to the side of the road. He is turning around now. Please let Santa Fe Regional know. I think he's going to try to go back to the house. He's driving all over the road. I'm passing Caballo Lane. I'm going back north on 63. We're coming up on the one, the one mile marker. He's in the opposite lane of travel right now. Should I try to... I think I'm going to pit him because he's... Are there any units closer to me so I can pit him and we can contain the vehicle? He's in opposite lane of travel right now. He's putting other people in danger. 10-4, looks like he's gonna try, he's slowing down. He's gonna take Old Denver Highway. Initially, it appeared that the suspect was simply attempting to flee from the officer. However, the situation quickly escalated into a frightening turn of events as he began to lash out at everything in his path. It was at this point that things took a dramatic and alarming turn, spiraling into chaos and becoming increasingly difficult to manage. 10-4, he's not going to take Old Denver Highway. He has a tire iron. Bellini, stop. 146 income. He has... There's a biker! No, he just... Uh, get off the road! Can't get off the road! He's dangerous! Get off the road! What's your point? 146 and come. He is still driving down 63. We're going towards into Pagos. He attempted to hit a person on a bike. 146 and come. There are more people on the bikes. I'm gonna hit him head on. 146 and come. He's still going. He's he's crashing my vehicle intentionally as well. We're here at the two. He's on foot. 146 and come. He's running at me. The situation could have easily spiraled out of control if it weren't for the courageous actions of the Samaritan. Not only did the Samaritan prevent the suspect from reaching his car, but he also stepped forward to lend a helping hand to the officer during the arrest, providing much needed support in a critical moment. Don't let him get in! Stop, stop! Stop! Don't do it! Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. Thank you. Cut it out. Stop, stop. Cut it out, he's trying fuck to, out. He's trying to, stop. No, he's trying to grab my cut. Get the other clip, get the other clip. 
Кто ты такой? The suspect's resistance was intense. Despite the assistance from the Samaritan, the officer soon recognized the need for additional help and promptly called for backup, which arrived just in time before both the pregnant officer and the Samaritan reached the point of exhaustion. Shut up! Shut up! Keep Turn up. my unit. Keep it. Keep it. shut up! I checked him for weapons, but... Yeah, I'm pregnant, so I need to... I need to guess. Stop! Resisting right now! Up now! You understand? Yes! Well then, up! Be quiet! Okay, I surrender you. He tried killing that lady. This is Bruce B. I know you hit me. And I spun out of control. Ah! Ah! Stop it! I wanted to, but I just put him on me. Ah, you're gonna break my f. What should we do? Ah, there we go! Okay. Shut up. Ah, I surrender. What are you guys doing? Shut up! Be quiet. Hold up, okay? I told her to stop. I told you to stop. She didn't even know where we're at. Be quiet. Ah! Hold up, let me take oh, this off, okay. You guys are gonna stir me? Turn you up. You guys are gonna stir me? Oh! Shut up! No, let me do it by myself. I'll put it in the back. Stop! Oh, pulling up! Stop pulling up! Okay, I'm gonna I'm grab it. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. Let me grab it. Okay, I'll give it, it to you. Stop! I'll give it to you. Stop! Just like you tried soldier. to grab my gun. Shut up! No, I don't I trust you. Thanks to the invaluable aid provided by the Samaritan and the swift intervention of a second officer, the escalating situation was successfully brought under control, and the suspect was ultimately restrained and handcuffed. The suspect was still showing no signs of remorse, however. Be quiet, dude. You freaking hit me. You came at me. Okay. I'm gonna get um, gloves and stuff. I'm gonna just pat him down. I can do this. Let's sit him up because he's on his. At least on his. My mama knows everything. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Shut up. I don't care. Shut up. Don't talk to me. I don't care. I'm gonna get this car. But I need my. Just fuck it. Stephen Jimenez faces nine charges altogether, including three charges of aggravated assault against police officers, along with an additional charge of aggravated assault and battery, resisting arrest, evading police, property damage, and unlawfully taking a vehicle. He'll be held in custody without the option for bond. Well, if you think the Samaritan here was the coolest of all, you haven't met these guys who risked their life protecting cops. In May 2021, in Volusia County, Florida, something dramatic happened during a routine traffic stop when a Florida deputy found himself under attack by a suspect. Deputy Anthony Zimmerer initiated the stop with the driver, identified as 41-year-old Frank Padilla Velez, but the encounter quickly turned chaotic as Padilla began behaving erratically. The officer attempted to handcuff him, but he was met with resistance as Padilla struck him in the head with his elbow, sparking a struggle. However, the situation took a remarkable turn as two courageous Samaritans witnessed the altercation and sprang into action. Ignoring their own personal safety, they intervened to assist the deputy in arresting Padilla. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Come What's going on? No, no, no. Calm down. 
calm down, calm down. Okay. What is it? What are you doing? You're, yeah, you're, you're crazy. You're going crazy here. Call okay. Call the police. Call the police. We are. What's going on? Because you about you almost crashed into oh, me. Amigo, amigo, Don't say. Calm down. What's your name? Frampadilla. Frampolina. I'm gonna call my law. No, 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 no. You gotta stay right here. Come back here a second. Come back here a sec. Hey. No, 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 sir, sir. Come back here. Come back here, man. Come on, come on. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back, man. Put your hands on your back. Stop. Come down. Well, as you can see, Padilla can be seen acting unusually from the very start, and the officer knew he wouldn't be easy to handle. And that's exactly what happened. When the officer tried to arrest him and put handcuffs on him, Padilla used every bit of force to escape. But the help of the Samaritans played a crucial role. Check it out. Hey, hey, get, get on the ground, get on the ground, put your hand behind your back, put your hand behind your back, put your hand behind your back, put your, back. Put your hand behind your back, nobody's gonna kill you, you're bleeding, you good, we're going to rescue, hey, relax, relax, Two men came to help the officer, and one of them even got hit by Padilla, resulting in bloodshed. The bravery displayed by these men in helping the officer was truly remarkable. When citizens actively assist law enforcement officers during emergencies, they contribute to public safety and the well-being of their communities. These brave actions serve as a powerful reminder of the vital role civilians play in supporting law enforcement. What happened? Oh, okay, so you're just a witness bystander? Witness. I pulled in here, this, this truck and the dog jumped out, so I put the dog back in the truck. Oh, okay. So Can I get... Truck. Yeah, I'm getting my... I ain't going nowhere. You good, sir? Your officer was just talking to him. Yeah. He shoved your officer, tried to run away. Your officer grabbed his hand. Your officer... In the end, Padilla faced a number of charges, including resisting an officer with violence, battery on a law enforcement officer, driving with a suspended license, careless driving, and possessing expired registration. Also, Sheriff Mike Chitwood praised the brave actions of these Samaritans, announcing that they would be honored with Citizens Awards for their courageous intervention. On September 22, 2021, a state police officer in New Mexico stopped to help someone with a flat tire near Albuquerque. But things took a serious turn when the officer's boss told him that the car matched one wanted by the cops in New York. Despite the driver's reluctance for help, the officer persists, only to find out that the person they're dealing with is Heian Deng, wanted for murdering her married boyfriend in Queens. Yeah, you heard that right. So the officer tried to arrest the suspect. Luckily, a kind stranger passing by saw what was happening and jumped in to help. With their assistance, the officer managed to cuff the suspect and found a gun hidden in a backpack in her car. Still, you're still here? What happened? He don't come in. Oh, he's still not here? Yeah, one hour. One hour? You just 30 minutes. Okay, you want me to see if I can help you? No, my friend's come. Okay, is he coming from Albuquerque? Ooh. Is he bringing you a flat tire? Is he bringing you a tire? Hey, you can bring me the, you can bring, you can take me go here. You can take me go here. Oh, you want me to take you yeah, there? Yeah, you take me. Oh, well, um, let me see. I, I, but are they still going to come get you? Yeah, he come here, I, he will get the car go. Oh, okay. You take me? Uh, I don't know yet. Let me see. Uh, let me see what, let me see what your car looks like. See, maybe I, ha I have a tire. I can help you with it. You can help me? Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, you did a good job. What happened? Stand, stand over here out of the street, okay? 
I don't know. Yeah? Let me see if I can take you there to Manal. You, you take me up? Yeah, and I'll be able to take you. Another one? Yeah. At first, the officer's encounter with Deng seemed smooth. There was no vibe suggesting that she could be a killer. She appeared innocent, chatting politely and exuding confidence as if she had done nothing wrong. But then, when the officer noted down her car number and sent it to the team for standard security checks, things took a drastic turn. It's only that side? Yes. Let's see on this side. This is okay. Oh, you don't have one inside there? No. It's just a uh, bump. Let me see. Let's go over here and then let me go see if I could get a, a tire and they could come fix it for you and you could just go. Let's go over here. Where are you coming from? Let's walk this way. Where are you coming from? I think my bed. Oh no, I'm gonna go see if they could get a, a, a tire for you. No, I'll take my back. No, you don't need your back. What, uh, where are you coming from? I'm from You're coming from Pennsylvania? How far? How many hours? Well, just now, after a little chit-chat with Deng, the officer got some info. Turns out there's a homicide in New York, and she is the wanted killer. So the officer starts playing it smart, asking about her name, and keeping up the small talk until more cops arrive to back her up. How long have you been here? I call again. How long have you been staying here for an hour? Hey. 20 minutes. 20, you've been here for 20 minutes? 15 minutes. No, you've been here for about a good hour. No. No, right here you've been here for a good hour. I've been here just 20 minutes, yeah? Yeah, about, yeah. Let me see if I could get a tire and they'll come fix it for you. And then you can head on your way. He can fix it? Yeah, but I got to see if I could get a tire for you. Cannot fix it. You have to. Yeah, because you don't have a spare. Yeah. All right. I don't have spare. He, he have the spare? Uh, yeah, I'm calling someone to see if they have a spare for you. Yeah. All right, let me see. I got to keep calling numbers, okay? The first time I came, it was like an hour ago. You come here for an hour? Yeah. And then I wanted to check on you again because I didn't know. Let me call this person right here. They hung up on me. Yeah. Yeah, they're checking right now. Well, the officer now knows something fishy's going on here. She's also learned about the homicide in New York. Deng's acting was all clever, trying to make her way towards the vehicle. But that's when the officer plays it smart and doesn't let her near the car. Who knows what danger could have lurked inside? What was your name? What's your name? Juan. Juan? Juan. Juan? W-A-N-G. Oh, W-A-N-G. I'm Selena. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. They're checking right now to see if they got any tires. How long he can? They're, they're right here in this next town right here. Okay. They're coming here? They're coming here. If they have one. Could be one hour? No, not one hour. Less than one hour. Yeah. Because it's just right here in the next town. They're going to call me back. Is Are you cold? cold? Oh, okay, hold on. Just wait for a minute. Is it cold? Yeah. Aren't you from Pennsylvania? It's not cold there? Oh, no. It's warm? I go to the car and take the clothes. Oh, you need clothes from there? Yeah. Okay, hold on. What, do you, what did you need from there? What? What did you need from there? What do you need? What, what do you need from there? Well, just hold on, okay? Right, right here, right, right here, right, right here. I don't know, because I don't know what's in your car. Hold on. You just need a sweater? Yeah. Okay, is it in the front or the back? Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, well, I don't I don't know what's in there. I just got to make sure there's no one else or anything else in there. You can open it. Okay. Just for right now, let me see if um, your hands. Let me see your hand. Why? So I'm going to just detain you for a little bit until I figure out what's in your car. What? Let me see what's in your car, and then I'll get you your jacket. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the mean? Why? Huh? Because I'm going to see what's in your car. Why, why you... Huh? Why you cut me? No, I'm going to just detain you for I can see. Get your sweater. Yeah, but... but what, what, why you cut me? 
What? Well, you catch me. Because I'm going to get your sweater. Well, finally, the fear on her face was palpable when the officer mentioned checking her car. Thankfully, she didn't let Deng open it, sensing there might be something harmful inside. We'll unfold it soon. But wait, handcuffing her was not a piece of cake. Out of the blue, a good Samaritan appeared to lend a helping hand to help put handcuffs on her. Check it out. See what's in your car. Ow. You're not going to get back. You can see it. Okay. You can see it. I hold on. Okay. You, you can see it. Turn around. Okay. Turn around. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Stop. Get on, uh -huh. get on your belly. Stop. Oh, I Stop. I know. What happened? You? Get up. Get up. Well, as you can see, a man came out of nowhere to help the cop. He told the officers how he saw the officer trying to handcuff her, so he came running to help. He was truly a man without a uniform, but with bravery and kindness shining through. I'm, I'm right here. Come on. He's good. He's good. He's good. I appreciate you. Are you okay? Yeah. When I was, com I was coming you. down the road, and I looked over and I saw you wrestling with her. I hit the shoulder and backed up and ran over here to help her. I appreciate you. Man. Yes, ma'am. I remember Are you. From you. New I Mexico? talked to you here. Yeah, I talked to you at the Maverick station on Montebo that morning when the weather was all nasty. I don't remember, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's no big deal. You were dealing with all the big wreck and the big pile up and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, I remember your face. So. I told you not to get in the car. You kept on trying to get into it. You're just gonna wait here, okay? You good? Oh yeah. Sorry, dude. No, nah, dude, it's all good. I heard I heard you guys running cold that way. I was like, okay, I know they're close. Well, after searching her car, it was discovered that there was a gun inside. Now, imagine a killer roaming freely in an open space. What harm could she have still done? But thankfully, after the efforts of both the officer and the man, she was handcuffed. However, her drama wasn't over yet. Even after being handcuffed in the patrol car, she started asking to loosen the belt and claimed that she was two months pregnant. You all right? No. It's, What's it's, going on? It's hot. It's what? It's, it's, it's. It's tight? Yes, it's tight, too tight. Okay. And I have a baby, it's all my... <sighs> Are you pregnant? Yes. How many months? Two. Two months? I said, oh. Okay. Well, I can oh, still put... You, you can't lean on it, because I can still put my fingers through it, so it's not that tight. It's that tight. You gotta, you gotta I, sit up. You have to sit up. Sit up, sit up, sit up no, straight. That like that. It's too it, tight. Okay, hold on then. I don't go, you trust me. Okay, I will trust you now. In the end, Deng has been charged with resisting arrest and is currently awaiting extradition back to New York to face murder charges there. After this incident, we have another case where Samaritans immediately came to help the officer involved in the accidental car flip. On May 2, 2022, the calm of a Milwaukee intersection in Wisconsin shattered as a reckless driver ran a red light, slamming into a police patrol squad. The police car tipped over and hit a pole, trapping the officer inside. Luckily, the people nearby quickly came to help and pushed the car back up. Well, gratitude filled the air as the officer thanked those who helped. Witnesses described the speeding suspect car, estimating it at at least 60 miles per hour. Both the officer and the 33-year-old female driver sustained non-life-threatening injuries, underscoring the dangers of reckless driving. Are you okay? I'm okay. Hang on. Hang on. Just hang on. Just hang on. Just hang on. Thank you, 
Just hang out, just hang out. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I've never been in a car accident. I've never been in a car accident. While the male cop appeared relatively calm and stable, the state of the female cop was increasingly concerning. Her restlessness heightened with each passing minute, signaling an urgent need for first aid. The seriousness of her condition became increasingly apparent, underscoring the urgency for immediate medical attention. Take a deep breath. Thank you, Shazam. Just take a deep breath. Just take take deep breaths. Sorry. At this juncture, both officers trapped in the overturned vehicle were secured by the police. Moreover, law enforcement successfully located an eyewitness and ensured the area's security, all thanks to the assistance of cooperative Samaritans who generously volunteered to help. Hey, we got a witness right here. Yeah, uh, we got a good witness. I got to go. Yeah. Uh, stick to my you find a car to put on your camera? Yeah. Right. I'm good. I'm good. It's all right. No, just take these breaths. Yeah, just take these breaths. You did good. Hey, can you just check my cell phone? It should be over there somewhere. I flew out of my phone. Yeah? Yeah, I did. According to court records, the suspect driver is currently facing a misdemeanor charge for reckless driving resulting in injury. This charge highlights the potential consequences of reckless behavior behind the wheel, underscoring the importance of responsible driving practices to ensure the safety of all road users. Now watch another accidental case where not just one, but many bystanders came to help save the life of the driver. In October 2018, in North Brunswick, New Jersey, Officer Anthony Torres, while on routine patrol, stumbled upon a smoking SUV that had crashed into a wooded area near Finnegan's Lane. Acting swiftly, Torres, along with several compassionate Samaritans, embarked on a courageous rescue mission to free two women trapped inside the vehicle. With flames rising, they worked together, cutting seat belts, bending door frames, and pulling the women to safety just moments before the car was engulfed in flames. Their selfless actions underscored the remarkable power of human kindness and collaboration in the face of adversity. Well, these women will forever be grateful to them for saving their lives.
13 Central. Put me up with a signal for 130 and Finnegan. I got it, buddy. I got it. I got it. I got it. That's informative. Can you come out? Are you able to step out? Okay, you want to be pulling out? Come on. Huh? Anyone in the area want to be pulling out? Pick up a 75 for the signal four. Get the door open, man. Get him out through here. Come on. Come on, guys. The car's on fire. You got it? Here you go. Is there anyone else inside? I don't know, my house is right there, all I heard was that. There's nobody else in the car. Okay. The trailer hit your car. Why is it always right here? It was that trailer, it was a trailer. Right there. Anybody see what happened? Right there, the little car. Dude, whose car is that in the middle over there? You gotta move it, you gotta move it. Whose car is that over there? Yo, we got Whose car is that over there? That's me. Come on, let's get out of here. Well, imagine if these good Samaritans weren't present there. How would this officer alone have taken both ladies out of the car? With the help of these people, the officer managed to extract them from the vehicle. But the moment they took them out, watch for yourself what happened to the car. Uh, who saw? Right so who saw it? Anybody see it? No way. Tell them to get them out. That's my house right there. I was in the back. And Do me a favor, man. Uh, who you live over there? My wife and kids. Can you start calling them, tell them to get out? Get out. Yeah, yeah, and then go, tell, go one tell one. her. Yeah, you want me to go do it? Yeah, yeah. and can you go tell the neighbor? Out. Tell the neighbor too to get out. No, and nobody here saw what happened? I was just driving around. Well, I heard around. everything that happened. I heard the car just going right into the tree. I was just driving around and I saw the car on fire. You driving that truck? Yeah. Just wait inside the truck. Yeah, but I gotta go close. I'm going to go. You gotta wait, dude. You yeah. gotta wait. Yeah. Too bad. You gotta wait. Just wait inside the truck. Get your thing on your lines, okay? Well, just as the ambulance was called to rescue them, the fire brigade was also summoned because there was a fire engulfing the car. Imagine if these people weren't there. These two ladies might not have survived or could have been seriously harmed or burned. They're, they're gonna get your family out, right? No, yeah, my family got out the Okay. All right, can you just tell them to get the neighbor out as well? All right. Yo, can you call her and just tell her to get the neighbors out, please? No dude, instead of recording it, dude, hey, do me a favor. Instead of recording, start calling people, man, all right? No te preocupes, gracias a Dios que ustedes no están aquí. Eso es nada, eso es cosa que... How long, how long was that car there before? Because I... What happened? I heard, boom. Yeah, because I saw, I saw whoever parked, and then I see this car here. Well, I, all I heard it happen, and I, was, I just knew it. I just started running right through here, came around, and I seen them, and I just started trying to get everybody out there. Well, the level of passion these men were showing to help the officers was truly amazing. Despite everything, the officer on duty was diligently extracting information from everyone who was an eyewitness there, piecing together exactly what happened and determining who was at fault in this accident. Huh? Yeah, why do you have to know? Why you I need your documents. Go grab me your documents. Uh, hey, Billy, can you, look, can you grab his documents? Do I still need it, though. Uh, All right. I still need it because I, I got to figure out where her story is. So once I figure no, out her story, okay. Okay, señora, tú puedes hablar conmigo. ¿Tú sabes qué pasó? Yo venía cuando estuve en un poco rápido y la luz amarilla no te da tiempo a frenar. Okay, cool. So, estaba cruzando enfrente de ti, como para acá. Ajá. Y tú ibas directamente para acá. So, para tú chocaste el carro o no? Okay, pero esta guagua que está aquí, esta camioneta, no está, no lo viste, right? Okay. Did you see anything happen? I mean, yeah, she said she was. I guess she said she was going this way. No. And that there was a car coming. Yeah. Right here. Which car? The Dodge. The Dodge. The Dodge over there. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor, man. Can you go grab that Dodge's information? Ah, uh, nothing. I just okay. saw it. Uh, so, she was going straight. No, no, she was going the same way, southbound. Uh -huh. Yes. Let me just grab your phone number, then you can go. All right. All right. Campbell's already got it. All right. He's walking across with it now. All right, thank you, buddy. You're good, all right? Thank you. 
Well, no charges have been filed against her and she got no harm. She was all safe. Just like them, many men came running to help save a life. In Watsonville, California, in December 2022, a dramatic scene unfolded as bystanders rushed to the aid of police officers trying to save a 65-year-old cyclist trapped under a car. The officers were in pursuit of a driver in a stolen Honda when he suddenly leaped out, allowing the vehicle to collide with the cyclist. Fortunately, the 65-year-old cyclist was secured by the help of the Good Samaritans. Here, here, let's try to lift it this way, dude, if we can. Everybody, you get in over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I don't think that's gonna help. It's not. Help, help, so, help. help! Lift the car up. Hold on, lift, 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 lift. Hold on, he's shut up. More, more. Uh, Hold on. Hey. What do you want to help? One, two, three, go! Uh, somebody pull uh, okay, 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 okay. Good job, guys, good job, good job. There's someone outside. Yeah, I don't know. Sanchez got him. No. Hold on. Let him, let him, let him, put him on his back. Put him on his back. Put him on his back. So. Within minutes of the crash, 22-year-old Enrique Garcia was apprehended and now faces numerous charges in connection to this harrowing incident.